All right, listen, before we go on to doing the, the talk on New York, just want to give you a little bit of a story. So we had a letter um, from M uh, Mike and Jenny, parents of Caroline Love. Dear Captain Westwood, Charlotte FC staff and all the lads, I'm sure you hear a lot of complaining from fans, so I wanted to take a few minutes to say thank you. My family has been fans since the first CFC game in February of 2022. Our daughter Carolyn was 11 during the first season and fell in love with the team. That same year she began experiencing serious symptoms of mental illness. We saw numerous counsellors and psychiatrists, but she only got worse. Each medication she tried either had little effect or caused more problems. She was hospitalised four times for suicide attempts and each time were given no answers and over the next several months Caroline's symptoms got worse. We applied to 13 programmes in North Carolina but none were qualified to take on her case. Eventually we found a programme in Arizona that could help her. From July 29, 2022 to June 28, 2023 she was in therapy and treatment that finally discovered the disorder that was causing so much chaos in her mind. They found the right medication to manage her symptoms and she learned the coping skills to help with her daily life. I tell you all of this because each week when we would have video calls she would ask about the team. And I would give her a play by play of how the game had gone. Oof. So they're the responsibilities that sometimes that we don't even know, we don't even, we're not even aware of that. But she's graduated now from the House of Hope in Clayton and she's going to be in the club next week. Thank you for helping us through the worst season of our lives. We will cheer you in any season, football is family. Love and footy, Mike, Martin, Jenny Blythe and Caroline Love. The message really, really touched me. I've got two young kids myself, so it's nice to see we're doing doing things other than playing football and touching people's lives. So again, just anytime you want to stop, restart, um, it's really just a conversation with, with me and Alex. Okay. I think it was right before the first game, mom came up to me and she was like, we're going to a pro football game. And then when we went to the first game, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. And I was like immediately hooked. I just remember there were so many people. I was like, people really like this sport. Like, it's not just me, because where I grew up, everybody was into like American football. So I was like, this is actually really cool. I'm glad that we're not alone in this state. <laughs> My favorite player is definitely Christian Kalina, because I was a goalie when I played soccer, and I know how that feels when you have like your whole team depending on you. And Hi. Hi. Hi, Carol. How are you? Good, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I have something for you. Oh, thank you. Just, just thank for you. you. <laughs> and one more surprise. Oh, I you. want to invite you that uh, you come with us on the training and that you're on the, with us on the field. Okay. Yeah? You're yeah. ready? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> That'll be nice. <laughs> thank you. Yes. <laughs> you're you're my favorite. Like genuinely. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> was not expecting that. <laughs> that was that was kind of crazy. You're good. You're good. I was I was very surprised. Good morning. Hi. How are you, darling? Good. How are you okay? You? Good to see you. I knew that they were hiding something from me just because they were, I don't know, they were being weird. But I didn't know that that was going to be what was going to happen. Yes. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you too. Thank you for all the support you've been giving us. Thank you. No, no you. You're the one who gives us all the support. Every single player comes out and gives her a hug and like they're they're thanking her for supporting them as a team, and that just blows me away. So we're really happy that you've come here. We're looking forward to having you with us for the day, and we hope the small bit that we can play in helping you, we want you to know what you've done for us as well by being a supporter, okay? 
So enjoy the day. It was so fun. It just, yeah, watching her play with the guys. I knew I probably wouldn't be able to get one in there just because they're all so good. But they're, it was really fun kicking the balls in with them. Oh. Caroline could not stop smiling and talking and like calling friends and grandparents and people last night just saying, you're not going to believe this is the best day of my life. Perfect. <laughs> We always do support them. Well, yeah, I hope you will, I will see you on the game. I will. I will be there. Yeah, really cute. Thank you. That's going to be something that sticks with me for the rest of my life, and I get to cherish those moments. I'm just glad it got to happen, and I will never forget it. How would you feel, Caroline, about maybe coming to the vault before the game and maybe walking out on the pitch with Christian Kalina before the game? Yeah. That would, that would be great. <laughs> now, I know I said that we had no more surprises. That was a I'm very grateful for Charlotte FC because when I was in Arizona, we had a phone call every week with my mom. She would like recap every single game, everything that had ever happened in that game. In those calls, a lot of times we were having to talk about some heavy stuff. And so to be able to end the call with the Charlotte game, it, it tied her to hear, and it, it was like, it was like family. It was, it was her connection back home. You feel kicked around as, like as parents, and, and when you're, when you are fighting so hard to get help for your kid. So it is, it is so refreshing to feel like people do care. I'm just very grateful that, and, um, and I really appreciate the, the support and the care that Coach and the guys have, have given to Carolina. How are you? Yes, we do. Just you see so them? You got Kelly, a ton of challenges and I'm extraordinarily proud of how she has you know overcome so many things and and learned how to to manage and she is she is very much her own person and she is learning to you know make make her own choices and make good decisions and I'm very proud of that uh, that's something something extraordinary especially for a 14 year old kid because you know we live in a world that that's hard to do, and so, so I, I want her to keep doing that. Having depression and stuff sucks, and if you don't get the right help, it can really tear you down. And people don't know how to get help, so they can't fix it. So it's just, it's really important to take a moment and recognize that People are struggling, you might be struggling, but if we can make it more aware that there are outlets for help and there are places that you can go to get help and you aren't alone, I think that really helps.